Hello viewers, my name is Afalabi Samekoka and I'd like to welcome you to the Settlement Law Success Nugget and I want to advise before you say you do, especially for the singles or those who desire to marry, know your genotype now. AA plus AA can marry. Can AS and AA marry? Yes. Can AA plus SS genotype marry? Yes. Can AS and AS marry? No. Can AS and SS marry? No. Can SS and SS marry? No. Can the rich and the rich marry? Yes. Can the rich and the poor marry? Yes. Can the poor and the poor marry? Not advisable. If anyone does not have work and the other party too does not have work, they can't marry. Two idiots cannot marry. Idiot plus wise can marry. Wise and wise can marry but should be ready for war. No work and the other one working can marry. No skill and no skill cannot marry. No education. Education but no work cannot marry. I have not eaten and the other one is a type that says said I can't can marry. Prayer warrior but not working. With prayer warrior but not working cannot marry. I have not eaten. Find something to eat or I will be angry. Cannot marry. I need your help and I will see what I can do. Cannot marry. Mind tempered and short fused can, can marry. Short fused and short fused cannot marry. God I beg and hope they cannot marry. I want you to know that pure love has no condition or boundaries. Love does not hold back. Love gives all the time and asks for nothing in return. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It's not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always persevere. In line with the word of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 8. Love and a third force unchained by conditions knows no boundaries. With unwavering abundance, it generally is pleased for it. Never seeking restoration, love without conditions, but doesn't mean you ignore your own needs and boundaries. There is no healthy love without boundaries. Wanting unconditional love is really wanting unconditional tolerance. You are not looking for a true partner. You want a victim. If a person truly loves you, then your happiness means a lot to them. And that person will always respect you and your boundaries. The Lord bless you. I admonish you. Go over it and over before you take your decision to say, yes, I do. And the Lord God will help us. Love is to be fulfilling life, not to be endured, but to be enjoyed. God bless you. Afolabi Samakoka is my name. Please subscribe, share, distribute to others, and let God be glorified. See you in the next coming series next week that will impact your life.